Hi, Robert Anthony here for Tuts Plus. Out of the box, Logic Pro 10 is one of the most feature-rich DAWs on the market in terms of content, plugins, and effects. Shipping with over 18 virtual instruments, over 65 plugins, and more than 3,500 Apple loops, Logic Pro 10 covers any need and genre you can think of without having to purchase third-party software. In this tutorial, I will introduce three great plugins that ship with Logic Pro 10 that will enhance your guitar productions, whether you're a musician, a producer, or you fall somewhere in between. If we click right here under the audio effects, we'll see that the first option is for amps and pedals. First, pedal board. Pedal board emulates over 35 famous stomp boxes on a virtual pedal board, complete with configurable cabling mixing, and bussing. The pedal area is where you drag the pedals you want to use in order to add them to the audio processing signal chain. The pedals are by default processed in series from left to right. If you hover your mouse right above the pedals, the routing area allows you to configure the audio routing of the pedals and set up various signal processing, including parallel effects processing. If you click the twirl down, the macro controls area allows you to assign macro controls to any parameter. You can control these macros with a MIDI controller or with the smart controls feature inside of Logic Pro 10. The pedal browser area holds all of the stomp boxes available to use inside a pedal board. You can filter the kinds of stomp boxes you want to use and drag them into the pedal area. I have a recording here that my friend did while in my studio. It's a dry electric guitar recording that we recorded into Logic. So all we're hearing is the direct input from the electric guitar. Let's have a listen to what these virtual stomp boxes sound like. Next, we have Amp Designer. Amp Designer is a virtual guitar amp and speaker setup, complete with 5 EQs, 10 reverbs, and 25 guitar amps and matched speaker cabinets. Amp Designer even has 7 microphones that you can position in 3D space to mic the cab. The amp parameters give you a nice visual representation of the selected amp model as well as access to the various controls of the amp. The model parameter dropdowns let you pick a matched amp and cab from the 25 available models, or you can mix and match any amp to any cabinet. The effects parameters let you set the parameters of the selected reverb and the built-in effects of the selected amp model. The microphone parameters let you select from the seven available microphone styles and set the volume output of the microphone. If you hover over the speaker cabinet, you can position the microphone in 3D space. This will affect the sound just like in real life.
Next, we have Bassamp Designer. Bassamp Designer offers three famous bass guitar amplifiers and their match speaker cabinets, three positionable microphones, and a virtual DI box that is modeled after a, quote, highly regarded American DI unit. For the most part, everything is pretty similar to the amp designer features. You have the model parameters, the amp parameters, the effects parameters, featuring a parametric EQ, as well as the compression settings. And again, the microphone parameters, which let you position the microphone in 3D space. If you click on the direct box button, it will let you set the parameters for the DI unit inside of Bassamp Designer. You have boost, high cut, the tone, and the on and off switch. The balance slider here lets you control the mix between direct signal and process signal from the mic speaker cab. Logic Pro 10 is, in my opinion, one of the most well-rounded and capable DAWs on the market today. At 200 US dollars, it's a very attractive music creation platform for not only professional audio producers like myself, but also for beginner to advanced musicians who want to start recording and producing their own original songs. This is Robert Anthony for Tuts Plus. Thanks for watching.